So I love friends, the other day I saw a listing, it was selling a bunch of camera gear, essentially light meters and then two or three Polaroids. It was really cheap, but then in the description it was written, not tested as is, and then we know how this thing goes. When it is written non-tested, it means it has been tested and it doesn't work. But then what catch my eye was this little guy, a Minolta flash meter 2 great thing I have uh, say a weakness for Minolta leg meters and then I didn't have this guy so I say okay I will take my chance anyway it was forty dollars or forty five not very much and then I got this guy and a Gosson Profi 6 great leg meter as well I will make a video on that as well and then so I got this guy with the original strap from the 70s and then I'll say I say to myself okay I'm going to test it let's see how it goes it was forty dollars but these guys are built by tanks so chances that it doesn't work are very slim so I took my new battery 9 volt battery that you can still find a bit everywhere I put it in ok, come on, close and then let's put this guy on and then here you go you should see 45 numbers mean, mean the thing at least turns on so I was really happy now I got it in this condition, I didn't have the spherical diffuser and then I went into a quest to find it I found this guy, a guy in the north of France had one took me some, yeah, some talking because it was from a collection and then yeah, he, he was selling it with other things but then at the end I was able just to get just the diffuser I was really happy. Didn't came uh, cheap, but this is it, a brand new diffuser. So I got this guy, and then now what it is still yet to do is to verify that this guy is actually providing reliable measurements, and then to do so. last step so I took a more recent Minolta this is the Minolta Autometer 4 I will be probably making a video on that as well and then let me put some time which is ok let me increase the time for this guy as well so 15 I am an ISO 100 and then if I take a measurement what this guy is telling me 8.4 well 8 4 tenths of a stop and then here is telling me okay you can see it 8 and then usually is given here these two LEDs in terms of a stop and then I see that they turn off so it means this guy is telling me 8, 6 tenths of a stop which is really 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 look good for a 46 years light meter which is working perfectly so let's take this guy away I just check it it can be found rather cheap, it is extremely reliable reliable, and then a good thing is that these red numbers that well, you struggle to see here let me put the light a bit down ok, I hope you see them are really useful when you are working on the night so I got this one overall well, forty dollars including the 25 I paid for the diffuser 
a brand new diffuser but then everything else is working fine and then how this guy goes so you have here right now, right now it's turn off and then when you say cord it means you can put a cord to connect to a flash to activate it as the name said a flash meter but that's not that not all with the core mode you're actually able to measure ambient light so and then this is what people usually get wrong about flash meters they say okay I can only measure flashlight but then that's not true this guy allow me to get incident meters incident light meterings and ambient meterings and then obviously here you have a knob you have a button and then here you can change the ISO the range is not very big so I think you can go up to okay 3200 which is okay and then useful for most applications and then here you can change the time you can go from one second up to I think it's 250 and then it will give you the equivalent aperture you will need then here it's telling me 2.8 this is the lowest value he can go but then here on the back for example you have an equivalent table that you can rotate and then here I got 250 to 500 and then I will get every other possible combination just by checking at the dial that I just aligned between 250 and 2.8 okay so I can get almost all the, all the results and then obviously if I go to flash mode this is non-core mode so I press this button and then this green LED turns on telling me he's waiting to get the flash signal and then if I take one flash here I flash and then I get my number and then it has also a multi mode so let me put a bit to put down a bit the light so and then here during 90 seconds now I just launch it the green light turns on and then here is going to wait and then I have to launch my flashlights in the following 90 seconds and then is going to get accumulate all the lights which are hitting the meter and then I put the flash really close and then it's telling me that at 250 1 over 250 I have to put at least F8 at ISO 100 to get my core exposure so this is the Minolta meter flash meter 2 extremely simple extremely reliable 46 years works like the first day built like a tank and not very expensive so if you want to take a look at that don't hesitate there are quite some second hand on the internet and then this is all i wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time